My name is Dan English. I'm a Magenic Senior BI Consultant out of the Minneapolis office. Today we're going to be taking a look at SQL Server 2008 Grouping Sets Syntax, which is a new extension to the Group By Clause in Transact SQL. Grouping Sets is an extension to the Group By Clause, and you can define multiple groupings in the same query. Grouping Sets produces a single result set that is equivalent to a union all of different grouped rules, making aggregation querying and reporting easier and faster. This demonstration today is going to be using the February 2008 CTP of SQL Server. Now my first query here, we're going to see a typical group by statement. And this, these queries will be using the AdventureWorks DW database, which is available to download from the CodePlex com site. Now in here I'm joining a few tables, joining the time dimension, product, subcategory, and sales territory, along with the reseller sales fact table to get some data. And in the group by statement, I'm going to be grouping by fiscal year, country, and the product category with a filter of North America. Go ahead and run this query. Returns 24 rows of data. And we'll see that it's grouped by the year, country, category. And then I get the quantity totals and the sales amount. Now let's say if I wanted to go ahead and add some additional aggregation into this query. So I want to get some totals by the fiscal year and country, maybe get some totals just by fiscal year, but I want to add them all into the same result set. Well, the way that you would do that is that you could go ahead and use a union all statement and combine multiple transact SQL statements. And we got to make sure that all the column names are the same when we're combining them like this. And I would just go ahead and insert some nulls here. So in this second statement, I'm going to group by fiscal year and country. So category is being left out. So I just substitute that with a null value. And then I unioned another statement so that I can get totals just by fiscal year. So I'm returning null for country and category, and grouping by fiscal year. And a final statement, which is going to bring me my grand total for quantity and sales amount. So I got no group by. I'm just returning nulls for fiscal year, country, and category. Run this statement. And we get 34 rows of data. I can see here. So I got my original 24. Now I get my group by additional group by information here. Got fiscal year and country. Got one by fiscal year. And at the bottom, I got a grand total. And we can see that by using this union all, start to add a little complexity. Quite a few lines. Got a quick line count here. We're looking at 15 lines. That doesn't seem right. Definitely more than 15 lines. Now in 2008, a new extension to the group by is being able to utilize grouping sets. Now what this allows us to do is simplify our query and gives us the ability to include multiple aggregation levels within the same select statement. 
So in the grouping sets here, I got our original one, which was grouping by fiscal year, country, and category. Then I've added an additional grouping by statement to do fiscal year and country. One just for fiscal year. And then one isn't specifying anything, so I'm just going to return the grand total. This statement is returning the exact same information that the previous union all one was. 34 rows of data. And I can see here I got a total for 2002 Canada. I got another total here for the United States 2002, and I got a grand total for 2002. And at the very bottom, I'll have my grand total all together. Definitely simplified the query. I can currently get the similar set of data by using additional statements in 2005. So in here, I have my original group by clause, by fiscal year, country, and category, and I add this with rollup. Returns 34 rows of data. That's going to be the exact same data set that I just returned. Now with the width rollup, I don't really have the flexibility as grouping sets. In grouping sets, I can add additional groups and I can remove some if I don't want them. Now on the rollup, I can't really specify that. It's just going to automatically aggregate, just aggregate the values based on my group by statement. So it's first going to return me my fiscal year, country, and category roll-up. Then it's going to slowly roll back, and it's going to eliminate category from there and include the fiscal year and country roll-up. Then it's going to return the fiscal year roll-up, and at the very end, I'll get my grand total. So it slowly works its way back in the group by. If I want to return every combination of aggregation level you can currently use the width cube. And this is going to return every combination of aggregation within the group by statement. I get 60 rows of data this time. The big difference is that it's throwing in a group by aggregate value on category, so I get fiscal year in category, and in here somewhere, around. I'm also going to get it just on category level. And I'll show you what I mean here in the grouping sets, where I get the flexibility here. I can Add in additional I can even remove some of these. And by using the width roll up I don't really have that flexibility. So now I've changed my result set. Gotten rid of the fiscal year roll up. And I've added a roll up based on category. That is all I have in regards to the grouping set syntax. I hope you enjoyed the overview of the grouping set syntax in SQL Server 2008. And I want to thank you for watching this screencast.